call out when you get all the stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So personally, I feel like every individual strives for attention in some way. Um, nobody really likes to be alone. Uh, I know personal time is always good, but I feel like human nature is that everybody kind of looks for somebody to talk to or socially interact with. Um, in particular, my, uh, my grandfather who lives in a nursing home, uh, he said that the thing he most looks forward to is when people come and visit him and, and talk with him or whether they're playing cards, watching a movie, it doesn't really matter. Um, but some background on nursing homes, because that's the topic of my speech, uh, is that about one and a half million people actually live in nursing homes. Um, and roughly 90% of those people are uh, age 65 and older. Um, that's a statistic I got from uh, George Washington University website. Um, like I had said, my grandfather, he lives in a nursing home, so I've spent a lot of time in there visiting him, kind of seeing how they do things uh, with visiting time and meal time and whatnot. Uh, which kind of brings me into the topic uh, that a lot of the people in the nursing homes are really hungry and eager for attention, um, whether it's just socially or playing games, uh, letting them talk, or just letting them listen to you talk. Either way, they're, they're just happy to have somebody there uh, and spend time with you, or with them, rather. Um, and the, uh, the thing that my grandfather had said with a lot of his friends, too, in the nursing home was that uh, most of them feel the same way. Uh, they're just eager for somebody to come see them, uh, which more times than not, sadly, doesn't happen. Uh, Whether their family gets too busy, they can't really see them uh, after they place them in the nursing home. So they, they really look forward to them coming, but they just, they never really come. Uh, which, it kind of puts them into a, a depression, uh, which is the number one diagnosed psychological disorder that a lot of uh, the elderly are diagnosed with. Um, roughly 40%, uh, according to a statistic I found um, about the American Geriat Geriatric Society, uh, which that's a pretty high number for depression, I think. And that's kind of scary thinking about that my grandfather is prone, he could be part of that statistic, which thankfully he's not because he has people around him who, who come see him, whether it's not me or if it's you know somebody from a church or a group going to see them. Uh, which this attention is really thrived, I think, because a lot of us are independent in nature, but once you get placed in a nursing home, you're more dependent on others, whether it's to feed yourself or bathing, uh, doing your own laundry. So going from that independent to a dependent state is kind of rough, and I think that if you don't have that moral support or social support, it's really hard to, uh, to kind of live through that and, and push through if you don't really have people coming to, to see you and, and visit with you. Um, so that kind of takes me to a, a solution that I, I think to the problem. Um, I feel that if we could form a group to, to go and, and visit these elderly people in the nursing home, uh, a small group, maybe six to ten people or so, uh, spend like three hours a week just visiting these elders, uh, whether it's three hours in one setting one day or three days a week, do an hour long session with them, uh, I think it would really bring up their spirits a lot more and kind of give them that looking forward to seeing somebody come and, and visit with them and talk with them. Uh, it would really kind of help keep them from reaching that state of depression too. Uh, so that, that would probably be a big solution to a problem with the state of depression that a lot of uh, elders see in nursing homes. Um, so I'd like to recruit a group of people. Uh, go to the nursing home for one month, three hours a week for a month. So we're talking 12 hours in one month. Uh, if you think about all the time you spend, uh, you know, watching TV, playing video games, doing other leisurely activities, basketball, soccer, uh, whatever, um, 12 hours a month really isn't a lot. Uh, you could just cut out a movie one night or two of the week. Um, so I, I feel like this would be a good solution to the problem. Just getting a group of people, go visit these elderly people, and it would, it would really brighten their day and, and make their day a whole lot better. Um, so to kind of picture this, uh, if you visualize just the look on their faces, I know whenever, for example, my grandfather, when I go to see him, he's just so, such a happier person. I, I can talk to him on the phone, and he sounds happy, but sometimes he may be down. I'll go surprise him with a visit, and the glow on his face is just priceless, and just knowing that 
you're there making a difference, helping them. Uh, he's happy, you're happy, and everybody else is happy too. And I think that's just great. Uh, so that's probably one of my favorite things to do is really go visit him. And uh, it really gives you a sense of pride too, I feel, uh, just knowing that you're helping them out, um, keeping him from reaching depression, all the other uh, elderlies around uh, in the nursing home. Um, that kind of brings me to the conclusion. Uh, so we could just kind of grab a group, uh, six to ten people or so, uh, go to the nursing home, visit for three hours a week, uh, 12 hours a month, that's it. Um, and just don't think about it, just do it. Just think, you know, well, this is a, a big difference we're going to make to these, these elderly people in the nursing home. They're be much happier, uh, strive to live for tomorrow. So uh, when considering it, just remember what what your family always, your parents always told you when you were a kid to respect your elders because you very well could be in that position one day.